In a tweet from his account on Friday morning, renowned evangelical minister Timothy Keller announced his passing from pancreatic cancer. He was 72. Dad waited till he had mom all to himself. He took his final breath after she gave him a forehead kiss, the tweet stated. There is no downside for my leaving, not in the slightest, were some of his final comments, which provided consolation. In June 2020, Keller had disclosed his diagnosis of pancreatic cancer and plans to undergo chemotherapy. Keller's son Michael issued a series of tweets from his account on Thursday, stating that his father had been released from the hospital and would receive hospice care at home. Keller was the founding pastor of the Redeemer Presbyterian Church in New York City and the author of several best-selling books on Christianity. Keller was a co-founder of the non-profit organization City to City, which posted a statement about his passing on Twitter. Timothy J. Keller, co-founder of Redeemer City to City founding pastor of Redeemer Presbyterian Church in New York City, and author of several books, passed away on May 19th at the age of 72 while clinging to the sure and definite assurance of the resurrection. According to a statement, his wife Kathy, his three sons and their wives, a sister, and seven grandchildren are left to cherish his memory. The charity announced that a worship service would be broadcast live online soon. In a message received by CNN, President George W. Bush also conveyed his sorrow. The statement added, Tim Keller was one of America's leading Christian thinkers and preachers. He was a brilliant philosopher, a prolific author, and a remarkable church builder. I feel privileged to have met him. Bush said of his own learning from Keller's teachings that he was one of many who is lucky to have learned. The message reads, Laura and I wish Kathy and their children peace.